you want to strategize and eat the conference food and conference good food is usually good from my own experience is always you know top notch Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Eniola, but you can call me the Global MC. On this channel, I talk about the international student experience. I also talk about my work as a journalist. And something I would like to introduce to the channel sometime later is talking about wealth and finance and all the good money things, you know. Anyway, for this video, I want to talk about conferences and how that is an integral part of the student experience in America and, the, and an integral part of the international student experience as well. So conferences are many. Whatever field you're in, engineering, accounting, biology, medical sciences, whatever, journalism, there are conferences attached to your field that you need to begin to attend. And being a student is one of the best ways to attend a conference at a discounted rate or for free, really. In my case, I went to two different journalism conferences as a student, and both of those times were um, both of those times were sponsored by my program. Thankfully, because I would not have been able to go otherwise, so they paid for the conference um, fee as well as you know hotel transportation, and also gave me a little stipend to tie myself over while I was away in another city for a week or so. And so that's something you want to really begin to check out, ask your professors about, even just research, Google, any upcoming conferences, conferences in your field that you can attend. And once you secure that, you know, that commitment that, okay, we're going to pay for this, then you have some other things that you need to begin to do to make sure that you're actually well prepared for attending this conference that you've graciously been you know either sponsored to or you know whether it's a half sponsorship or a full sponsorship i know some other students that i met at these conferences that they weren't fully sponsored by the university i will not name names for columbia um they said that you know their university only give them half of the of the of the fees that they, of the money that they needed i'm like what do you mean your, your university only gave you half of the money but anyway, I realized how blessed I was at the University of Texas at Austin for them to really just commit to pay for the conferences that I was able to attend as a student. I went for what we call the National Association of Black Journalists Conference for two years. And then I also went to another one that was based on data journalism called NICAR. Those were two fantastic experiences, but how was I able to really make the best of them? Number one is fashion. <laughs> Did you see this coming? You want to make sure that you're on point. Just because you're a student does not mean you must look like a student. So there is a certain level of confidence that being dressed well gives you and especially as a newcomer as a student as an international student who is coming from another culture who is coming from another country into the u.s you want to put on all ammo you want to be prepared so people don't you know expect something of you and then you know you miss the expectations you want to exceed expectations like i said just because you are a student does not mean you must dress like a student and i'm not saying ah, break the bank now but just curate your outfits in a way that exudes confidence that exudes that exudes class that exudes okay talk to me i'm the person you should be talking to okay that's what you want to that's what you want to go for um obviously look sharp make sure your shirts are ironed make sure they're not wrinkled make sure you like you're not late I mean, even if you're late, that's okay because somebody's watching the time for you. But you want to make sure that number one, clothes are on fleek, check. 
And then number two, this is work that you have to do before the conference. You need to research what the conference is about, who the speakers are, what the topics are, and actually create a schedule for yourself because conferences have so many things going on at the same time and there is only one you so you can only be in one place at a time you want to make sure that the places that you need to be you are and so that's what um, preparing a schedule ahead of time will help you achieve you want to go to um, places where people of interest will be or topics of interest are being talked about Another thing, apart from your schedule, that you want to make sure you also do pre-conference is write a list of the people in the industry that you actually want to meet, you want to introduce yourself to. And so there's so many brilliant people that you're going to meet at this conference and you cannot begin to, you know, talk to everybody. So you want to be strategic with your approach to a conference, whether you go only once or whether you go one year year two year three year four you want to be very strategic with the conferences with the people you're speaking with not because you only need something from them but just because strategy is key strategy is key for whatever you want to achieve in the u.s and so make a list of the people that you want to reach out that you want to speak to at the conference and then prior to the conference about a week or two before the conference send them a linkedin note saying oh hey my name is so and so i'm a student at so and so and i saw that you're going to be speaking or you're going to be attending this conference i would like to schedule some time to meet with you just to you know talk about the industry and whatnot and then if they are open to it they will respond and that that will be a great connection for you to have at the conference and something extra to look forward to apart from just conference activities and those kinds of relationships really pay dividends in the long run because by the time you're done with school hopefully you've kept those relationships and really built them you'll be able to reach out to them for you know whether it's internships or a job or a reference whatever you need they can be mentors as well because you always need people in the industry who know about you and who can vouch for you so number one quotes on flick you want to look top notch you want to look your best number two you want to do your research and build your schedule Number three, you want to write a list of the people you want to meet at the conference and you want to send them a LinkedIn message prior to the day of the actual conference so that they are expecting you and you, when you introduce yourself to them, it's an easy introduction. My final tip on this topic is about free food at the conference. Conferences have free food, y'all. You don't need to spend that much money on breakfast, lunch, and dinner. At most, you might need to buy one meal a day, but all your other meals should be had at the conference. There are breakfast meetings, there are lunch meetings, there are dinner meetings. Some of them are ticketed, so not those ones unless you have extra money. But go for all of the free things where they have food. Go for all of the free things where they have food because we're not here to spend money like that, my guy. You want to strategize and make sure that you make the best use of the amount of money you paid for the conference. Conference fee is not free. You pay for it, so you might as well enjoy it and not spend extra money. So that's something you want to keep in mind as you go for your conference because it's usually maybe Wednesday to Saturday or Tuesday to when to Saturday. It's like four or five days away from your house. You don't want to spend all that money on food. You want to strategize and eat the conference food. And conference good food is usually good. From my own experience, it's always, you know, top notch so those are that those are all my four tips for going to conference um securing conference sponsorship uh looking cute when you go to conference reaching out to people you're interested in connecting with and then oh one final 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 king of it all is update your cv when you go for a conference conferences have something called career job fairs 
they have job fairs and a lot of leading employers in your industry are going to be there obviously if you're in year one or you're in your first year you might not be so looking for a job but even still you want to put yourself out there and you want to begin to practice speaking to these companies you want to begin practicing you know how you can pitch yourself as the preferred candidate that was one of the things that i did that landed me my internship at bloomberg the very first interaction that i had with bloomberg was at nabj i met one of the recruiters at the job fair and we stayed in contact even before christella told me about the diversity program so you want to make sure that you come prepared because people get jobs at conferences you want that could be your story you know so you want to make sure that you're prepared for whatever comes update your cv um create a two minute elevator pitch of why they should hire you even if you're not looking to be hired ask them about their internship program ask them about your company do some research about the companies you want to speak with as well and like i said preparation is key when you're going for conferences i hope all of these tips have been helpful to you and you can feel free to drop some any of the tips that you already know that i missed and i would love to read from you thank you guys for watching this video and i will see you next time bye third year journalism and rtf major laney dickey attended her first professional conference before spring break held in atlanta georgia nicar welcomed veteran professionals and modern students from all over the country so personally, when I found out that this conference was going to be held in person, I was very comfortable with it being in person. I've already been fully vaccinated and boosted, and because of that, and with travel restrictions lifting in the United States, I decided that it would be okay enough for me to travel. Organized by investigative reporters and editors, the conference equips old and new journalists with data skills for in-depth investigative stories. It's important for students to see the work that went into good journalism and understand what went into it so that they can repeat that and you know be the best journalists that they are. While there were virtual attendees this year, conference organizers say they took every precaution to guard against COVID-19. Preventative measures that we took were that all attendees had to be fully vaccinated, including the booster. And then we did ask, all, all attendees did need to wear a mask in our meeting space, within our Many students say precautions were reassuring. So were the Moody College scholarships of $1,800 to cover the expenses of getting to the conference. The stipend from Moody was crucial for me to come because I work two jobs and it was not going to be possible for me to attend without the scholarship. As a first time attendee, Diki says she hopes the conference helps land her a job. I think it's vital for students to come to conferences like NICAR because it's not just a conference for learning. It's also a networking opportunity for students. And Yola Lunge, Reporting Texas TV.